What's up everyone, Sweaty Zeus here coming at you with another iteration of the walkthrough of Elden Ring. Or another episode, I guess. Iteration would not be correct. Um, so we're here. Curse of Aerith. Uh, it's the one right past um, uh, Stormvale and the lake facing cliffs. Grace is closest. Uh, I just killed this um, beetle that was here. Um, we gave Thops, who was the guy sitting over there earlier, the other glintstone key we found. And uh, this scarab's going to be here, or beetle's going to be here now. So kill it and get Thops barrier. Uh, it's a really good um, Ash of War. You can put on a shield, and it basically allows you to parry. Um, magic spells so a couple things I want to talk about real quick you can see I'm holding the staff now which uh, I respect so you can see now I have 63 intelligence um, I do have uh, Godric's great rune activated so we're getting plus five on everything uh, from that so I always forget I guess you gotta go to level up to see what your actual stats are. I thought there was a way to look at it from from this, but just showing our current status. Okay. So when you go to level up, I'm at 35 vigor, 20 mind, which is a little low. I'm gonna try to get that up. Endurance 12, which is minimum, so use the armor and uh, weapon and staff we have. Strength at 14, dex at 14, intelligence 58, which is high as I could go. And then I did bump one into faith, just because um, I'm still going to use flame grant me strength, most likely. Um, this is Hyetta right here. Uh, if you talk to her... My name is, Should be looking for some grapes. We found a few. Um, you can give her one. And then she's going to give you a um, emote. And then she's actually going to move. She'll stop talking. She's going to move over down here to Purified Ruins. Um, she'll be, I think, at this spot right here. So... Um, I haven't completed her quest before. It has to do with um, uh, the faith ending. So if you want to do that, um, you can look it up. Just, uh, again, Fextra Life. Uh, and if you go to their website, FextraLife.com, and then pull up uh, Hyetta, uh, it'll have her whole quest there. But one quest I do want to do, um, since we respect, is Sorcerer Selen. Which, we could have visited her, you know, back at the beginning of the game. But we went to Thops because he had a lot of sorceries we were wanting to get. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole, so if you remember, we came here and agreed to be your apprentice. And I showed you where you could buy these things. So buy any you want. I would buy uh, Scholar's Armament. I would buy Glenstone Pebble. Uh, I would buy Glenstone Arc. It's really good. This one, I've already got a better upgrade for, and that one I don't think is all that great, but just for um, the walk there, I'm going to go ahead and purchase them all. She'll want to see uh, Azor's sorcery that she asks us to find. If you recall... It was for a temp the toothless pet. I want Glimstone. No matter what we my apprentice teacher and student hear me out, my I need your help. Perhaps this Splendid. <sighs> this pleases me. You must have a fab. I need your help. Master Lusat is an and like master as your he my apprentice. Can with this glimstone key. You should Then she wants us to find Master Lusat. He's nigh and he's going to have a uh, another glintstone sorcery she wants us to find. Much like uh, Azur's. And uh, 
Then once you have um, both of those taken care of, you'll be able to get their outfits, which uh, provide buffs to their different schools of sorcery, I believe. So um, I left this blank, so I wanted to show you kind of what we're going to choose. Uh, glintstone pebble is really your bread and butter. You can use with glintstone shard instead. It comes out a little faster. Um, it doesn't have as much tracking. You stop moving while firing it. I don't like it as much, especially for uh, PVE, which is just, you know, us doing single player. Uh, but there's a ton of these shards and projectiles. I usually just go with... Um, because uh, Pebble's so good that, like, I don't feel like these are really necessary. I used them before, um, but they were, you can see the FP goes way up. This one's only 7, this one's 5, then 12 and 19. And this one is 26, but it, it hits way harder. Um, I think these are pretty comparable. But, um... This one's like the upgraded one, so it does hit a little harder. Uh, this is the one we just bought. I was telling you we didn't need because this one we bought from all the books we've been giving to the Turtle Hat Pope guy, Muriel. Uh, this one's really cool for uh, use against like crowds. It fires a horizontal arc that you know spreads wider. I really like. Cannon of Hyma against big enemies, like bosses and stuff. This one's uh, good uh, for close-up if you're going to, you know, uh, get in and mix it up with your mage. I don't really like either one of these. This one enchants your weapon, which we're going to be using. This one um, enchants a shield to give it, you know, extra protection. This is Common Azor, which we picked up in the mountaintops. That's the one she wanted us to find. It takes up three of your slots, so if you want to use it, you got to really commit to it. Magic Glint Blade is another one of the starting ones. Um, it depended on which class you started, um, either Prisoner or Astrologer. You'd either get um, this one or uh, Pebble, which I like Pebble better, but this one has its use because it leaves behind like a little energy... Thing, and then it'll fire a um, glint blade off, you know, off of like a maybe a one or two second delay. And uh, it's good for, you know, letting them down, putting a bunch of them down and then putting pressure on an enemy. And, you know, they can't dodge your attacks in it at the same time. So it's cool for that. Glint blade phalanx uh, forms a defensive arc. It just has a bunch of floating blades around you. And then when an enemy you attack or they attack, it'll home in on them and hit them. This is just bigger ones. We got this from, uh, uh, there's a, uh, here, I'll back out and show you in case you're interested. Up here, this Ever Jail is where we got it. Cuckoos. Uh, conversely, there's another one. Um, we got here, Royal Grave, I'll show you. And I'll reference soon. And meteorite, I believe, is the one we that was at Royal Grave. So Terra Magica, uh, I jumped over it, but it's cool because um, you basically set it down somewhere, and then if you fire anything out of it, it's gonna have a vastly increased damage. So it's good for you know bosses or enemies where you wanna. Put it down and get off one big shot to start the fight. Um, we're definitely grabbing Loretta's Great Bow. It allows you to um, basically snipe. And it's probably, I think, one of the longest um, any type of offensive things you can do in the game. That I mean, even some of the Great Bows, it'll outreach. And you can do, you know... A little under 2,000 damage once you've leveled up and, you know, gotten certain things equipped and talismans and all that. So it's really good. 
carrying slicer is great. It's uh, just back and forth, back and forth. Um, it's almost like a little lightsaber that comes out of the end of your staff. This one's just a big sword instead of the little one, a lot slower. Night Comet we're going to use. I like it um, because it um, it's good against enemies that dodge Pebble or Comet. Uh, it's harder to see, and the enemies in the game can't see it. So this one's cool because it uh, it's going to inflict cold damage, but also it's kind of like Pebble. This will enchant your armament with frost instead of magic. If you want to use that, it might actually be better. I don't know, just depending on what you're using. Um, if you're going to use like an actual, well, I don't know. It it's up to you. But this one I think is going to work more against when you're trying to inflict physical damage. Because when you frostbite someone, they take more physical damage. Uh, this one's like a big shotgun. Uh, this one's cool because it basically makes it rain a uh, little shards down on the enemies. Rock Sling's amazing. It's one of the best in the whole game. It's another one you get early. I showed you a long time ago. And then this one um, has spirits. Um, I've never been able to use it because I've never had high enough faith when I played. I didn't invest any. I kind of want to try out the summon twos. The only summon you can cast, you know, outside of, uh, that we have now. I think there might be another one, but we'll get much later. But you can cast this anywhere, not just in the, uh, um, areas where you can normally use summons. So, I'm going to order these a certain way so they make easier for me to switch through. Alright, so I'm going to try to put all my offensive ones first. It's tough because there's so many good ones that I want to put on here. Um, you know, I don't want to... I'm going to get rid of that one and put that there. And then we'll do slicer. And definitely need night comet. I'm running out. I'm running out. And we need that. I kind of want this too, but I'll probably hold off. It's only 12 FP. Wow. I thought it was more than that. And I'm going to have to... So then we're going to do our support. Those are going to be our offensive ones we're going to start with, and then uh, any support ones you want to use. So I'm going to throw one. Okay, I'm going to have one more. So see, this would take up our last three slots. I do want to use it and show it to you, but I'll hold off on that for a little bit. If you do want to use it, just um. You know, use the way it's it's really cool, and you can see how it works. I've never tried this one. I'm gonna give it a shot, and then we're gonna do armament and terror magic. There we go. All right, I've been checked. Okay, we don't have anything in storage. So now um, we're gonna knock out. Selen's quest before we get too far finishing Ronnie's. I'm going to go over here to Church of the Pilgrimage. Or Church of the Plague, sorry. This is where we gave Millicent the uh, needle. She's not there anymore. There's going to be two of the little rock guys out here. I probably should have prepared for that a little more. I 
hate these guys. Have I said that before? Alright, so we're gonna be going up here. Probably should grab that shard while we're here as well. Now remember, we've already passed uh, Saluvis's um, quest, so if you did want to get any of those summons and you're watching this, go back and there's several videos back. I go over um, his quest and what your different options are because proceeding to the top of Ronnie's tower and talking to her after... Um, you do most of the underground area, it's going to lock you out of his quest, so. There's a lone mage over here, a battle mage. He's really tough, so I'd suggest uh, any buffs you want to do, go ahead and... Show this one off. Ooh, that hit hard. Just beast blood. You think he's guarding something amazing? I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but there's there's a bunch of items on top of this skull. Yeah, we haven't got him. Okay. Smithing seven, another seven, stone sword, and an eight. Very nice. That's where we fought the giant dragon earlier that was just laying down. And that's where we got the um, sore seal. We try to land near this. Alright. So, this took me forever to find. But over here, let's see if I can find it first try. There is a invisible wall. Got it. And this area is not too bad at this point, but if you came here earlier, it would be really tough. There's a lot of crystal snails. There's a lot of um, enemies that have the rock blaster spell you know the guys with the rock rock skin and uh, there's a revenant down at the bottom which like the worst enemies in the game that's the rock guys I meant I don't know what else what else they're called but other thing I like about scholars armament is it lasts for a little while so See, they're pretty resistant to physical damage um, or standard their strike damage is good against them but um, so buffing on with magic allows us to actually take them down otherwise we'd have to hit them a few times all right there's a lot of invisible walls in here so Down at the bottom is going to be your Royal Revenant, which that's the centipede looking guys that are really tough. Against those uh, rock guys, this spell works really good because it's physical. Just throwing a rock at them. Although I thought it hit harder than that. Normally it works good. Here's Carrion Slicer, I haven't shown it yet, but it, you can see it just does like a swipe with a magic sword. So if you get up under uh, a boss or some big enemy and just spam it, it will destroy their health bar. It's, it's really pretty cool.
This one's cool because it cracks really, really well. And they don't miss, it seems. I don't know how far they go. Pretty far, not that far. Alright. A little baby rune. And then you'll see our revenant may have spawned. Try all you can not to fall down there, because if you do, good luck. kind of tough to oh, oh by the way probably should oh those are fun for now we'll look at our talismans in a little bit and see what other options we got for magic or some that'll boost our damage and things he's like directly under us can't get him I think I might be able to go back this way yeah. alright so we'll just continue on you can see look at how hard pebbles hitting now I mean that's insane we're getting 500, and you can just spam it. So I was saying, there's a look at Comet and see what it does. 427. What is going on? Oh, I know the snails are going to be more resistant, but still. So 261 versus 427. So 217 versus. Anyways, you can see, um, you know, Pebble holds its own, and the FP um, cost is, is really cheap. So, especially if you use the uh, Carrion Filigree Crest, which we got from EG, if you remember, uh, all the way back when we did the. Um, snap to talk to Blyde back at the beginning of the game. Um, then when we met EG, he told us to, you know, drop his name. And when we did, uh, it allowed us to get the Carrion Filigree Crest, which um, reduces all FP consumption by 25%. So, um, you know, it makes everything quite a bit cheaper. And you can you can cast so many pebbles with uh, with that active, you know, on a full bar. Did he survive that? Yeah, he did. So we need to go down here. Let's turn it a bait. Should we finish the area first? I think there's a way back up. I can't. I, I can't swear to that. But okay, I think you can get up this way. No, this is the area where we killed the revenant. He was over here. Ashes of war. We can use to uh, duplicate an ash. Fireflies. So this is the way up. Okay. And it comes out. There's the song before. It comes out over here on that one I couldn't jump up. So yeah, you don't want to fight the Revenant down there face to face because they. He does like a really long hit combo where he can basically stun lock you and, uh, well, since we just went down there, I'll go ahead and finish the tunnel and come back. 
the sorcery you get from <clears throat> the uh, guy down there is not all that great, in my opinion. I mean, you might like it, but I, I didn't think it did a ton of damage. I think there's a bunch more snails in here. They seem to be most affected by regular damage. One hit. And then the boss for this area, I think, is the uh, Crystallins. Might have a little trouble with them. They're fairly difficult. Um, they're going to be three of them. So, and if you remember, they're the ones that we fought that have the, uh, basically like diamond skin. So we had to use a strike weapon, which will really make fighting them so much easier. Otherwise, you have to really, really knock a lot of their health down, or hit them. You're not, you won't really damage their health, but you got to hit them several times to uh, break their defense to where you can actually do damage when you hit them. But you should break their posture at that point, and then you can uh, go in and hit them. So this, this might be our best move. Great stars. I should have changed it from sacred. I'd like to buff it with magic, but that'll it'll be fine, I think. Oh, we can still medium roll too. All right, so I'm gonna use the mimic, and I can't buff it. Rock sling will work really well too on him, so. Sometimes with the Mimic, you might want to unequip. We don't need this anymore anyways. Uh, and I think there's magic in here. But... We've already got pretty good protection. Okay, I think we'll be alright. They're gonna inflict rot as well, so just be ready. You see, once we stagger them, they start doing damage. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this first try. It's gonna be tough. Oh. Once you get a one or two of them down, it'll get a lot easier. Just three at once. This is a lot to deal with, so. Main thing is concentrate on one at a time. That way, uh, you can, you know, get one of them off the uh out of the battle and you don't have to worry about being hit from more than one enemy there we go now we're down to one you see just at first it was a little hairy once we got the first guy out of here it's not hard 
you see they take like no damage and then once they do you break their posture they'll go down and now they can really get hit you can pretty much stun lock them at that point Yeah, good job, man, bro. Before that, we get Crystal Torrent, which is basically like a crystal machine gun. So we'll go ahead and fill our stuff, and then instead of warping back, I think that'll reset the enemies. So I'm just going to run back. I think we should be able to get back to that lower area and get the... Uh, <clears throat> the thing from Master Lusat that Selen sent us for. Another reason I didn't finish um, Selen's quest line like earlier was because uh, was there a side door down here? Just takes you up here. There's nothing there. Um. But another reason I didn't do it earlier was, uh, the, um, Radon Festival. You're gonna have to complete it first to get to the area, um, where we're gonna free Selen because there's this whole thing with her having an alternate body that we have to find and Blah blah blah, but um, oh, that's just a regular mage. But um, yeah. So I wanted to wait until we were done with the Radon Festival, because otherwise we would just done a little bit of it, and had to stop. Done a little bit, and had to stop. And this way we can get it all in, basically in one video. So that's the key she gave us. You have to find Azor first, and then she'll give you that key. Here's Lusat. And you hit talk, and he'll just open his hands. And give you Stars of Ruin. Which we can warp out of here now. So let's go back to selling. My apprentice, I have a favor. The form you see before you is my body lies elsewhere. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the church. Can you make the journey to my... I have something that I can... Who could have guessed? You have my gratitude. I am truly pleased to have... This is a mere... This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of... If only I... For all that, she gives us a Starlight Shard. <laughs> so she tells us she's on Weeping Peninsula. If you remember, we found her a lot earlier. Um, we'll head to that now. It was right here. In this one, you can see she's still. So it tells us she's there. I never could figure out before I did her quest line. I'm like, why is there two of her? Because she doesn't really tell you what's going on until you find Lusad and Azur. So I was always like, why? Why is there two of this lady? Think so, buddy. Not today. I thought that was another one of them. It was a stump. No damage. Alright, so come here now and talk to her. 
shackles. There is something. My primal glimpse. A star has fallen, and my thought someone may come for my life. Myself. Sure, reach inside of her and take her primal glint stone, which is like, I guess, her essence or whatever. memory but I'm trying to remember what the next step is I'm probably gonna have to look it up uh, let me get away from all this I wonder if uh, let me check here make sure we bought all all this stuff while I'm here because I don't think we'll be coming back Glad I came back. I wanted that. Grab these. Have a safe and then journey. we need to get this. Get this down. So we can get our staff. So earlier I think, yeah, I crushed Renala's Remembrance. So I want to duplicate it. And I'll show you here. I can't remember. I don't think we've done it yet for anything. <clears throat> but anytime you want like two items that uh, a remembrance, you know how you can turn them in at the uh, round table to in in the uh, or whatever. Um, if there's two items you want, because there's you know you can select two different ones. If you want both. Then uh, you're gonna need to duplicate a remembrance, and there's several <clears throat> of these walking mausoleums throughout the world. You just need to knock the skulls off, and then they'll kind of sit down Indian style for you. Usually two of the legs or three will get it. There it goes. Two legs. Knock them all off. I like to, if they have the skeletons on the leg, just hold down, drag your weapon, and circle around, and it'll usually knock most of them off. But it's not too hard. But I believe at this one you can do Renalis. Some of them you can only do certain remembrances, but. Yeah, so we need that one. We can only do it once at each one. So now we can go back to round table hold, or table plus grace, round table hold, whatever, and um, speak to Inya, and then I'll get the, what's really the probably the best staff in the game. You can see here, carrying Regal Scepter. You can get her sorcery too, it's really good. But uh, Ronnie will give us a similar one that I think is better. So, let's see what we got as far as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, there we go. So, we finally get a. Better, uh, better catalyst. So, I 
this is the meteorite staff I was using that we got, you know, way back at the beginning of the game. When I tried to find, like everyone, a good weapon, depending on what, you know, class they were in. And you can see it's S-scaling. It's given 248 sorcerer scaling. Uh, your, your scaling is basically the most important thing to look at on these. Um, this one's not upgradable, so that's as high as it'll go. It's 248 with our current 63 intelligence. But if you look at this one, it'll go up to 286. It's also got S scaling, but it has D and strength and dex as well. Or this one just has strength scaling. You can see these all have like B, B, C, C. A lot of them will get up to S, but this one is going to have the highest um, of any of them, from what I believe. Uh, these all have like different little effects, like this one, I think, uh, increases damage, but costs more FP. This one lets them cast a little faster. This one's good with certain types of crystal sorceries. This is good with the invisible sorceries like Night Comet and so on. But again, I think you're you're best off all around with uh, carrying Regal, especially if you're gonna uh, dabble in different ones and not commit to like one specific school. So, dang, I'm 4K short. Oh, we got it. Cool. Greetings. Are you here for? Wow, what a great trip. We got our Mimic totally leveled up. <clears throat> we got our uh, staff almost all the way leveled up. Check how much time we got. We're at 42 minutes. Alright, I'm going to check real quick on see what I need to do next, but you won't see the edit. Alright, so I took a look real quick, and if we... Defeated Radon, uh, Jaren should be, yeah, he should have left now. And he should go back to Witchbane. Well, maybe we'll have to go there for her to leave. Because she should leave now that we took her um, little Glintstone thing, and then he should show up there. But you have to exhaust his dialogue after the uh, uh, Redon Festival. And that'll convert um, that area back to like pre Redon Festival. And then he'll, he should come here. She hasn't. So, yeah, great. I was gonna say he's not dead. Come on, Jaren. I was hoping to get this all done in one episode, buddy. I guess I didn't talk to him after I, I sure thought I did. He'll be up here. Yeah, he's still there. Brave chat a celebrate festering with Finally, I'm no longer I have a time old business. May we meet again. It's time. May we meet again. Alright, let's get him to where he talks about meeting again one day, Brave Champion. Then you should switch out with her over here. Or I think her body will still be there, but our freaking what third or fourth time here? Yeah, okay. Ah, well, I hardly expected to see the champion. You didn't know so well. Whatever just put it behind. He was known as the Grave, obsessed by the primeval current, the most dangerous mage in the entire history. It is strange, the woman 
She was like a hus. I suspect Selen lives on. I'm sure she'll turn up a sickening thought. I suspect Sel. I'm sure she a sickening okay. thought. Okay, so get him to where he talks about another body, giving you a hint that she might be Saluvis puppet. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Sir, you're not doing enough damage. Go away. All right, so. Uh, we need to go, like, right around here. I think I already showed you his... Well, if you did the, um... Walkthrough of his quest line, I would have showed you the, uh... Uh, his little secret underground area. But, we'll go ahead and find it again, if not. Which I don't... can't remember if I... Found it on the this account. Oh, I didn't get that before. Chilling mist. That one's not that great, but it does allow you to um, equip. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so we've found this before. Uh, it allows you to get cold infusion on a weapon, which for um, Magic user is probably the best. So we didn't open it before, but there's a hidden wall here. They're selling. My apprentice. Thank you. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of better still, I've shed those finally. I can return to expel the Kari and royal family, my dear apprentice. Finally, I can return to expel. So she talks about she's going to return to the academy and expel the royal family. And um, you're going to have to make a choice. The grand. Uh, library, it'll say written all is there, which you will be at first, but. I need to make a choice. Do you want to side with Selen or Jaren? If you side with Selen, um, well, first of all, if you don't want to be spoiled, you can jump ahead a little bit. I took that about 20 seconds. If you side with Selen, um, she will defeat Jaren, and then she'll actually be turned by Renala into, like, a giant ball. Like, those giant ball faces. And then, if you saw with Jaren, he will, um, uh, give you a, um, uh, 25, plus 25 smithing stone. So, uh, with her, I think you get... I can't remember exactly what you get with her. I think it's another sorcery. Um, but you don't get the 25 stone if you go with her. So, do that what you will. If you go with her, you get all of his equipment, too. Um, but if you go with him, I don't think you can get it. I do think you might still get a sword. But again, factorlife.com, you can just look up either one of them. Look up Selling Questline, you can find out the end. Um, I sided with her last time. Probably going to do... Thinking here. Yeah, I'm just going to side with her again. Oh, that's, that's with her. Sorry. So I'll reverse that. So you're going to assist her here. <clears throat> Kinda, I kind of like doing it because it's cool to see what happens to her after. I guess she's like, you know, supposedly seeking too much power or something. But they should be kind of a joke at this point. Never liked you anyways. So, that will end their quest line. You'll get his stuff. 
It's kind of goofy looking, in my opinion. Ah, my apprentice, you've saved my. Do you see this? The queen of with the bodies of masters Azure and Lusat returned. The Akaso that we, fallen children of the my apprentice. Will you stop? You have your. Own. I do think she'll of tell us about. Um, always rest assured. No, my thinking of her when we become Elden Lord and Here blah blah blah. Be sure to get the Glintstone Chris armor though. It's really good, really good item. You still study your sorcery strummer, and you can get charge spiral now too, which I forgot about. That's a really good one. Um, but while we're here, we're gonna open this. Grab the Dark Moon Ring. And we're gonna reset. I think you can just rest. Yeah. So Renala came back. <laughs> Unfortunately, Stellan thought she was dead or no more. And Stellan's now over here. And she's now a uh, ball of faces. You can get her crown. She's in agonizing pain. But you can still study um, sorceries from her. She's not doing too good though, as you can see. So she'll be here for the rest of the game. And be sure to grab that ring out of that chest. Uh, we couldn't get it earlier. So that will do it for selling. Um, like I said, I wanted to knock that out before we got too much further. Uh, with Ronnie's quest line and then we're gonna go on in the next one down here to Grand Cloister knock this area out and then a big boss down here is one of the tougher ones uh, a lot of people think in the game but I think we're I think we're okay to handle them at this point around a level around level 100 or so I did want to show real quick the Glenstone Chris too. It's a really good, um, really good knife because it's gonna allow you to. I can't do it in here, of course. The uh, Ash of War is basically like a Glenstone pebble, but it does a lot of damage. So. No, it doesn't look like much, but uh, it does a lot of damage when fully powered up, so that's something worth checking out. And then it's also, you know, just a normal dagger move set, thrusts and slashes, but it, not a bad choice for a weapon if you're going to be a mage um, and you're off, you know. Uh, in your uh, main hand when you're using um, your catalyst in your off hand. I don't know why you'd ever use it in your main hand. Some people do to use a shield, but then you're kind of losing access to an ash of war. So, I, you know, I, I prefer just trying to roll and dodge. All right, well, that'll end it for this one, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.